and then just give up. Okay. <laughs> Don't be the keeper of the information. This is so exciting. I have Susan Jackson here with me, who we met on the phone a couple years ago, and then we reconnected recently at yoga, which, as you know, is one of my favorite things, Mine too. and Susan's as well. And Susan said, okay, Lane, time to have you over in my house. Thought I was organized, but thought someone's opinion might be a little better. It could be a little more organized, and it has been. And this, don't be the keeper of the information, I have been saying this a lot lately to moms, like sitting at the hockey rinks talking about moms who are completely exhausted and it really has come up a lot in conversations and this is one of the things that we talked about the other night in our very quick two hour appointment. But why did this one stick? Because it took away that mother guilt. It was the one thing that gave me that permission to say, you know what Sue, it's not all your responsibility. You know, you kind of as a mother automatically think that, hey I'm in charge. It's all my role, but you know what, it kind of, your your kids and your husband don't put you in that way, but you put it on yourself, and it was the first thing that gave me permission and said, I need to live by this. And honestly, Lillian, I have been. I love it. So you have a little example about your hubby who's behind the camera, and he's our camera guy. <laughs> <laughs> and does not know we talked about him. <laughs> he doesn't know we're talking about him. So just tell me that quick little story, because I think this really a goes into example. play for the perfect example for this concept. He, uh was in one room, I was in another, and he was yelling, where's my sled suit? He was going out on a skidoo, and I was like, downstairs, you know, and then he was like, where's my helmet, and do you know where my boots are? And it wasn't that he didn't know, but he wasn't sure, and he knew that I would know. And that's when I thought, you know what? And I just approached him and said, look it, let's keep all that stuff always now in the laundry room closet, and it's not gonna be a question for either one of us now, because he's gonna know it's there, I'm gonna know it's there. It saves that energy for me that I don't always have to be the answer. I love that. It saves the energy for you. So the yep. person that needs the stuff knows where it goes, yep. and they don't have to come and ask you. So that's one less question you have to field that day. The other thing that you saved me on is with the kids' dishes. I used to have them up where my dishes were, and you said, you know what? Make life easier. Make it simple. Don't be the keeper of the information. Now when my kids want a glass of milk or a glass of water, they always come to me with their cup now because I've lowered them down into the Lazy Susan, somewhere where they can reach, so they always have access themselves now. And as they get older, they're five now, but as they get older, they're going to be able to do it themselves and get it themselves. Everything will be at reach. So you're giving them the skills totally. to be able to do all this. Giving them the independence gives me more independence. Even even the husbands. Yeah. Even, even the them. husbands. Awesome. Yeah. So. Okay. Don't be the keeper of the information. No, don't have to be. <laughs> Great job. Thank awesome, you. Susan. No, thank awesome. you. Awesome. Thank you.